It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back, you gorgeous people. Yes, your feel good breakfast show here on S3. Open up to some inspiration and entrepreneurship. Moors, that's the business. It's an upcycle initiative that aims at cleaning the environment by collecting non toxic waste and creating beautiful, mm. usable, and practical products following a green path. Now, the business also employs previously disadvantaged women and refugees, affording them the opportunity of decent employment. It's a beautiful story, and the director, designer, and co founder of Moors Design, Rehana Gavanda, joins us on this Earth day to tell us more about it. Rehana, good morning. Good morning. Oh, so good to see you. Thank you. You too. Happy <laughs> Earth Day, guys. Thank Happy you. Earth you day, too. Rihanna. I know this has a special significance to you. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank Absolutely you. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so and that's much. where it all starts. I mm. think Thanks. this is amazing. Big mm. van Moors. Um, Moors. <laughs> Moors. Is Moors. One van person's Moors. trash is another person's treasure. And that yes. couldn't be more true mm. in your case. How did you guys come about? So Morsh Design um, is a sustainable brand that manufactures products from recycled material, mm. predominantly a uh, recycled tire tube. Okay. And the whole process involved is we go to the depot, the landfill in Atlantis, yeah. we collect the material from there, we bring it back to our studio, we put it through a thorough cleaning process before we hand cut, hand stitch, and hand weave these beautiful products well, all from recycled tire tube. That's crazy. It's we're looking at some pretty premium apps. Yeah. 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 Well, Thank the, you. these are beautiful. I mean, what was the artistic journey? How did you decide on the look and I suppose the approach for your brand? You know what, I, I, don't, I don't feel that I, I sat down and thought, okay, this is the direction that I want to yeah. go with this brand. It kind of just evolved and uh. morphed into what we see in here. Um, I like beautiful products and beautiful things. And when I see something beautiful, I'm like, hmm, I wonder how I can incorporate that into the more brand and voila this is what we have and, and a beautiful range we're going to get you to kind of go through some of the individual yeah. pieces in a moment but let's look at the practicalities of, of running a business mm. there is such a drive to to push entrepreneurial kind of efforts here as a designer what does it take to be successful how challenging is it designing and running a business in this country Wow, um, as a South African designer, I think we face many challenges. Um, I can only talk from my experience in the world of sustainability. I think my biggest challenge was trying to change the mindsets of South African consumers mm. to become more conscious with regards to consumerism mm. and sustainable fashion and also to support local businesses um, because I find that people would prefer to buy a, um, a fake Gucci or Louis Vuitton bag mm. instead of supporting a business with purpose like Morris Designs, for instance. Mm. So I think that has been my biggest challenge, but fortunately, we're getting there. Slowly but surely, the mindsets are changing. People are becoming far more conscious and, um, you know, the green economy is, is growing. Yeah, and, and you get something completely unique. I mean, I love, these, I love that. Unique. These are beautiful and they're elegant, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. even looking at them and I'm thinking it's an extravaganza of <laughs> eleganza. <laughs> uh, just so elegant. I love oh, the smile. Wow, thanks, man. <laughs> that's not <laughs> eleganza. Maybe that's the new Don't pair of put it on your flyers. <laughs> I'm coming to this show every morning for these compliments. Thanks. I love this. But, uh, there's a big story behind it. I think that the purpose isn't just around sustainability as far as the environment is concerned is that you employ women and it's refugees people. who are it's people so... that really need yeah. the employment. Let's so, talk about that. Yeah, basically I work um, in our studio. We work very closely with refugees mm. and they manufacture all the handmade products. So all the hand stitch and hand woven products. Yeah, have a look at that. That's made by Trevor who works at the studio. Mm. Um, and then the machine stitch bags are outsourced to women in the township. Um, her name is one of the women that I work with. Her name is Josie, and mm. she's an ex-factory worker mm. who started a little cottage industry business from her home. Love it. And when she has big orders, she uh, creates employment for some of the unemployed women and teaches them the skills of bag making. So Morse's um, ethos is very much about community development, mm. skills uh, development, job creation, and of course, last but not least, cleaning the environment. Yes. And also creating beautiful premium 
products. Yes, of course. So, um, as you, can you quickly just point out some of the pieces and then I understand that one of these pieces could be yours that you've got a really cool competition running. Yes, we are running a competition currently. Mm. So if you go to our Instagram page at Morsh Design and you like it and you follow the instructions, you could be a, the winner of one of these beautiful bags. It's this bag actually. It's called the Kari Circle. Look at that. Um, it's 100% handmade from a recycled tire tube. Wow. And if you open it, it's got an element of surprise, oh, a pop of color. Wow. So it's not just black, dull, gray bags. No, it's, it's got <laughs> like color in it. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'd like beautiful. to show you this specific bag over, mm. over here. Mm -hmm. If you don't mind. Oh, this I love bag, the detail. Look at yeah, the texture this, of that. This bag is 100% handmade hand cut, hand stitched, and hand woven from wow. the recycled tire tube. I love wow. that, completely. Yeah. Beautiful. It beautiful. takes us quite a long time to make oh. this, it's about two days. Um, but yeah, that's And gorgeous. that's each bag, I love that. Stunning. <laughs> you are amazing, mm -hmm. you need to be applauded for the work that you are doing you, on Graham. every level. Yeah. Thank you so much, um, thank you. Success to you, thank and you. may it be a booming business, and yeah. may you continue to transform people's lives. Absolutely yeah. gorgeous stuff, the products yeah. speak for themselves. Thank Rihanna, you, Graham. look thank into you, that camera over there and <laughs> say, Moore's design, extravaganza, eleganza. <laughs> <laughs> Morris Design, <laughs> Extravaganza, <Eleganza>. Eleganza. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope a sustainable it's fashion as brand with products that speak for themselves. <laughs> Certainly a good way to contribute to saving the environment. And while you're at it, get some Eleganza in your life. I love it. Yeah. Well done. <laughs>